This tutorial is going to walk you through using the free CAD to MC utility to take your 3D models like this one in Tinkercad and convert them into full color builds in Minecraft. I put a link in the description to a GitHub repository. There are two utility files, executable files, that we need to download to a folder on our machine before we can start converting 3D models into Minecraft builds. The first is this CAD2MC.exe. This is the wrapper I made for a lot of Python code that is going to convert a 3D file into Minecraft instructions. So I'm going to click the download button. And I've already created a folder just in my documents folder called CAD2MC. And I'm going to save both of these files there. Let me go back and the second file is this obj 2 voxel version 1.3.4.exe. This is a utility I found from another creator on GitHub to convert obj files, those are 3D files with color support or STL files into, into voxels which are cubes that have an X, Y, and Z coordinate. So once we have both of these files saved now we just need to grab a color obj file for us to convert and bring into our minecraft world so i just have a a present that i pulled from the i think it was the fun and games section of tinkercad i'm going to use the export button and we're going to export this as an obj file And when that comes down, it's going to be a zip file. And we need to extract it right into that same folder. So if everything worked properly, and I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that zip file. If everything worked properly, you should now have four files in this folder. The CAD to MC file that's going to do all the work the obj to voxel file in the background and now you have a 3d file called tinker and a material file called obj so I'm going to double click the CAD to MC application you may get this message from Windows that it blocked running this because it doesn't recognize it I'm going to click run anyway I made it so I know it's safe. And the first thing it's going to do is scan for files in that folder that it knows how to convert. Since it only found one, it's going to automatically convert it. If we had had multiple files, you would see a list here of OBJ or STL files that it can work with. It's also going to prompt you for a separate texture image. Tinkercad exports don't have these. I'll do another video with an example of a file that has a texture image, but since we know it doesn't have one, I'm just going to hit enter to skip this step. And then it's going to ask you how many blocks the maximum build size should be. So 32 is the default. That means whatever I convert in Minecraft, it won't be more than 32 blocks long, wide, or tall. And the bigger the build, the, the more instructions it's going to create. So you probably don't want to go crazy big. Let's just do 32 for an example. And now you're going to see a bunch of lines fly by as it's converting every cube in that 3D model into a location and a Minecraft material. And when it's done, you'll see that it saved all those instructions into a text file but it also copied it to the clipboard. So now we can switch over to Minecraft and we can paste that into the code builder. So let's do that now. So here I am, this is a brand new Minecraft world that I've just created for this demonstration. I'm going to hit the C button to open the code builder and I'm going to start a new project and we'll just name it CAD to MC. Click the create button and now you may need to use this drop down if you don't see the Python button. We're going to go to the Python editor, get rid of what's already there and now you should be able to paste 
right into the code builder. If for some reason it didn't copy it to the clipboard for you, you can go back to that folder and you'll see there's a 3D text file that has all the same information. So you could just select it all and copy it from there. And as you can see, it's generated over 5,000 lines of code for us and all of them are instructions to place appropriately colored blocks for the 3D file that we just brought in. I'm going to hit the start button. This might take a couple of seconds to process before it brings you back into your build. And now let's try to go to a nice wide open area so we can try this out. I built in a command if you type orient into the chat it's going to build a little XYZ widget there for you and if you as long as you're standing on that gold block now when you do your build it should head out in the the northeast direction here it should go it should fit inside the the area out from the green and the red blocks so now in the chat, we're going to type build now, all lowercase, no spaces. And we should see our 3D file start getting built out cube by cube. This ends up taking about four minutes to run, so I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. Needless to say, I sped this up a little bit. That probably took three or four minutes to run all of those commands. But as you can see, it did a pretty nice job of converting, of converting our 3D file here into, into appropriately colored bricks in Minecraft. Now that you've seen what the CAD to MC utility can do, feel free to download the files from the GitHub link in the description and let me know in the comments how it goes with your own 3D files and Minecraft builds. I think this will be a great addition to your world building toolkit and help make your Minecraft education worlds and activities more vibrant and interesting. Thanks for watching this tutorial and let me know how it goes in the comments.